In this video guide, we are going to go through performing an initial instrument communication setup and hardware configuration. Prior to accomplishing this, you'll need to have both installed Lab Solution software as well as set your IP communication settings on both your HPLC and PC so that they are in the same subnet. Please refer to our additional how-to videos on our Shimadzu YouTube channel to get additional assistance with these topics. Once Lab Solution software is installed and your license dongle is inserted, you will launch Lab Solutions by double clicking on the icon on your desktop. The initial user ID is admin with a capital A and there is no initial password. Click OK to log in. If at any point you need contextual help when running Lab Solutions, click in the area you would like assistance with, then press F1 to bring up the contextual help manual. Once the main administrative screen has appeared, you will see four tiles on the left hand side Instruments, Post Run, Administration, and Manual. Once you have clicked on the Instrument tab, you will be able to see all available instruments that have been entered into the Instrument Administration. The next tab is the Post Run tab. Once you have clicked on this tab, you will be able to see all the data processing software packages that are available with your license. In the case of this license, you can see Post Run, Browser, and GPC Post Run. Without going into too much detail, Post Run is generally used for individual data file analysis, Browser is used for multiple data file analysis, and GPC Post Run is used for our GPC data file analysis. The next tab is the Administration tab. Once you have clicked on this tab, you will be able to see all the available administrative features that are available in the software. These include security policy, user administration, log browser, instrument administration, system settings, validation, backup, customization information, and agent registration settings. The last tab is the manual tab. This has a library of user manuals regarding your lab solutions operation from your basic getting started guide to data acquisition and processing theory to installation and maintenance. We highly recommend you take time to read through these manuals to get fully informed on all of the features and functionality within Lab Solution software. By default, when you first launch the software, you will see a single instrument icon with your PC's name associated with it. You can begin by double clicking on this icon and configuring a new instrument from it, but for the sake of this video, we are going to enter a new instrument from the beginning. To create a new instrument, first go to the administration tab, double click on the instrument administration icon. You will see a PC list on the top and an instrument list on the bottom. From here, you can add a new instrument or edit an existing instrument. For the purpose of this video, we are going to add a new instrument. Once the Add Instrument screen pops up, you can enter in a name of the instrument for your own reference. Select the type of instrument from the drop-down menu, either an LC or a GC, and then you can enter any comments in the fields below, such as a system description of the modules used, the purpose of the instrument, or the location of the instrument. Once you have entered in all the information you desire, click OK, then click Close on the Instrument Administration screen. Navigate back to the Instruments tab, and you should see a new instrument identified with a ghost icon as seen here. If you do not, press F5 to refresh the list. To launch the unconfigured instrument, double-click on the ghost icon to launch real-time analysis. Once real-time analysis is opened, you will see a blank chromatogram view screen and a blank instrument parameters view screen. To configure the hardware of your instrument, go to Instrument, then select System Configuration. The screen that pops up is the Instrument Setup and Communication Settings screen. Within the screen, you will need to select your LC system, whether or not that be a modular CBM20A, CBM28 Lite, or in this case, an LC2040 i-series. Once you've selected your LC system, click on the Settings button. This will let you select your communication settings. If your system has an option for communicating via RS-232, you will see it as an option in the drop-down menu here. In the case of the i-series, the only option is Ethernet. You can manually input your IP address here, or you can search for available IP addresses by clicking List. We recommend using the List feature, as it also acts as confirmation that your IP communication settings are correct if it shows up in the list. Once you see your system identified in the list, click on it to select it and then click OK. If you have a photodiode array detector, you will then select which model you have from the drop-down menu here. If it is a modular PDA, such as an SPD-M20A or an M30A, you will need to click on the settings and select the PDA from the list, just as we did with the LC system. In the case of this example, 
PDA is integrated into the i-series, so we need to select the LC2030-2040 PDA detector without specifying any additional IP settings. If you have an ELSD, you will be able to select the model from the drop-down menu here to include in your hardware configuration. If you have our multi-wavelength detector, you can select it here from the drop-down menu. If you have an analog to digital converter box, such as our CBM201M, you select it here from the drop-down menu. Once you have finalized all of your hardware communication settings, click OK. This will bring you to the system configuration menu. Your system hardware configuration should be shown on the right side of the column. If not, click on the Auto Configure button to have your system identified what hardware components are in your system. If you do not see your system components in the column, even after clicking the Auto Configuration button, there is a problem with your system communication settings. You should never have to manually add a module to your system configuration. You can always return to adjust your instrument communication settings by double-clicking on the instrument communication settings at the top. Each individual module listed in your hardware configuration can be individually configured. You can see each of the options for each module by double-clicking on it. In the case of the LC2040 system controller, you have options for beat mode, fire start, pressure units, and relay options. For the pump in the LC2040 configuration, it does not present you with any optional configurations, even though the low-pressure gradient valve is included in the hardware. This is due to the fact that the low-pressure valve is not an optional configuration. It is included in all I-series. For the auto sampler, you will see options for injection trigger, small vial, silent mode, quick injection, and plate number assignment. For the oven, you will see options for wait time, ready range, and fan speed. Lastly, in the case of our PDA with the I-series, you will see options for doing 3D or 2D acquisitions with a specified number of channels. Remember that you can always come back to this screen and make changes to your hardware configuration, so do not feel pressure to set this as a permanent configuration. Once you click OK on the hardware configuration, you should hear an audible beep, and then your screen should show your chromatogram screen as well as your instrument control parameters view. In the upper left hand corner, if everything was configured properly, you should see an LC ready and a PDA ready state in the case of our iSeries example. From this screen in real-time analysis, you'll be able to control your instrument, set your method conditions, perform injections, and observe your data as it is being acquired. Now that you have configured your system communication settings and hardware configuration, you'll be able to launch directly to that instrument from the instrument tab. If you ever have any issue with your instrument and PC communication, be sure to check your hardware configuration screen to see what your system is detecting as viewable. Thank you for watching this guide on performing a new system configuration in Lab Solutions Workstation software. For additional videos, please visit our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or need additional support, please contact us by calling our customer support phone number. Excellence in science. Shimazu.